Welcome. In front of me is a yellow phone Note 8P, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now you can see that this phone right here is locked using uh, either pattern and also, well, the Google account. So assuming we don't know either of those, uh, we can begin the bypass. Now before you do so, I will tell you that you do need to connect to Wi-Fi, which I am, otherwise this page wouldn't really show up. So you need to connect to Wi-Fi. And from there, you want to go back to the first page, change the language to any kind of language that uses a different keyboard. So anything from the very bottom of the list up to, I believe, like Greek or Turkish should work. Select whatever you want. There we go. And from there, progress to the setup once more. So once you get to this page right over here, uh, you want to select that you want to log in with Google account. Once you have the field right here, tap on it to bring up a keyboard and on the keyboard you should see a globe icon. Now there is a possibility that you don't see it. If that is the case, you will need to go back to the first page and change the language to any other language that has a different keyboard. Now. Uh, the lack of this icon sometimes is just a bug, even though it should have it, sometimes it doesn't show up. So, like I said, if you don't see it, go back, change it to other language and get back here. And once you have it, you want to hold the icon. This will bring up uh, the keyboard options. So right now we have the Greek keyboard and QWERTY, which is just a typical uh, normal keyboard. Uh, now, obviously, if you chose a different language, uh, for instance, like Russian or some other language, uh, then you won't have Greek, you will have whatever you chose. But anyway, from here, we're gonna start off by selecting the QWERTY, then hold it again, and go to language settings, which is this text below the two options. From here, you wanna select add a keyboard, which is the button at the bottom, the blue one. And from here, find a uh, keyboard that does not have an arrow next to it. As you can see, there's a couple of them with an arrow. So some here, one here and here. Completely disregard those and pick, for instance, something from here or here. So I'm just gonna select whatever here. And as you can see, it opens up uh, the keyboards right here. So you wanna select add, which again is the blue button. And now you should have three keyboards. So from here, we're gonna back out. Again, the first page, change our language back to our desired one, which for me is English. And once more progress to the setup. So once more, tap on a field right here, hold the globe icon, go to language settings and add keyboard. And this time around, we're looking for a keyboard with an arrow. So scroll down till you see one, as you can see there is one. Then you wanna tap on the three dots and go to help and feedback. And here, I'm gonna select uh, delete or disable apps on Android, which uh, is need to be already here as a suggested option. But if you don't see it, which is a possibility, simply type in uh, the same thing you can see right here uh, over to describe your issue and it will bring it up as a suggested there. So anyway, once you select it, you want to then select, um, tap to go to application settings, blue text, and this will open up app info right here. And what we're looking for is YouTube. So scroll down and we go to YouTube. And from here, we're gonna start off by tapping on notifications and then select advanced and choose additional settings in the app. I'm gonna select about and YouTube terms of service, which will open up our browser. So let's select accept and continue and no thanks. And from here, you're gonna type in right at the top, hard reset that info, their search bar.
There we go. Like so. And once you're on the site, for some reason it scroll down a little bit, you want to have this visible right here. We can tap on those three bars and gain access to the download category. And then in the download oops, search bar, you want to type in Android 7.1.2. Now, it cuts it out because the screen is too small for it, but you'll see that once you search for it, it should show it up. There we go. Bypass FRP or FRP Bypass Android 712 slash 10. So anyway, scroll down, select the download, then scroll down once more and again tap on the download link right here. Select OK. We'll start downloading and then this will change to open. There we go. So let's select open. Now before we can actually install it, we will need to go into the settings and then allow from this source. So check this on, go back and you should be able to now install it. From here, once it's installed, select Done, and you want to go back uh, to the main setting or main download search right here. Now, before I go any further, I will see if there is a better alternative to this, uh, because we do actually have the option to open up settings at the time, so I'm going to check if that will work here. So uh, it seems to not work, so I'm going to go back to the search. Okay, so in the download search right here, you want to search for settings. And again, just as before, select the download and scroll down. And once more, you want to download from the bottom. Select OK. And once more, open it up. Install. And once it's actually installed, you're going to then open it up. Select OK. So once you have settings open, you will start off by going into the apps and notifications. From here, select see all 35, uh, tap on the three dots right at the top and then select show system, at which point you want to scroll down uh, all the way to uh, G. We're first looking for Google Play services. So C, D, E, F, and G, there we go. So let's scroll a little bit further and we have Google Play Services right over here. And from here you want to select Disable and Disable App. And now you're going to go back. And you also want to disable Google Play Store. So the one below that. Select Disable, Disable App. And once you have disabled both of those, you want to go back again to the main settings page. So right over here. Uh, now I'll mention before I go any further, uh, if you went back too far, it will bring you to the web browser. And to get back into the application, you will need to tap on the three dots on the web, uh, web browser and then go to the download category. 
uh, in there and simply reinstall the settings application, which will then again give you the option to open it up, which will bring you back to the settings. There is well, no other way to do it. But that is only for the people that uh, went back too far. So anyway, if you're right here, after disabling the uh, two applications, we're now gonna scroll down to accounts and go accounts, then select add account and choose Google. Now this uses the application, the first one that we've installed, otherwise Google would not be visible here at all. So let's select continue right here. It's okay. And as you can see, it's now loading it up. This will probably show up several more times. Uh, disregard it, you don't have to do anything, just select or tap somewhere else on the screen to get rid of it. The application, even though it's telling us that it's crashing, it's already allowed us to uh, select Google as a login option here. Now, in here, you want to log in with your Google account. If you don't have one, uh, you can create it. And if you do have an account, you can log in with it. But I understand if some people might not feel comfortable using their personal Google account to log into some uh, more sketchy application that allow them to do so. Uh, so you can create an account just for this, uh, even though there is a button for it right over here. Uh, I would recommend you to probably do it on your computer. Uh, just go to the Google, uh, on the Google and select create account. Uh, because I have no idea how well this create account here works. Like I said, uh, this page right here is completely like mm, just and showing up based on the application that we have installed and without it, it shouldn't even be visible here. Um, so because of that, I have no idea how create account will work. And that's why I'm recommending you to do it on your computer or other phone if you're planning to create an account just for this. Now, I'll be using my existing account, so I'm not gonna be creating anything. No. Select it and type it in. There we go. And now I'm gonna put in a password for it. I put it in correctly, so let me do that again. I think this is gonna be correct, yep, there we go. So as you can see, I have just logged into this account right here. So scroll down, select agree. And once you have your account added, as you can see right over here, you wanna go back uh, once and then navigate back to the apps and notifications. And we want to re-enable the two apps that we have turned off. So again, you wanna, you wanna select the see all 35 apps, select three dots and go to show system. Scroll down to G. And there we go, there are the two applications. So we're gonna start off with Play Store, select Enable, go back, Google Play Services, Enable, and once you have added or re-enabled the two applications, from there you want to hold Power Key and select Restart. Okay, so once the device boots back up, we can now go through the setup once more. Now, right off the bat, there will be a significant difference throughout this process. So once we get to the verification page, it will, well, it now changes from verify your account, either pattern or the uh, account. And it's now gonna tell us that account was added and that account will be the one that you have logged in with before the reboot of the device.
and there we go so as you can see Taza's account added and this is the account that I have logged in with so from here I select next and at this moment go through the setup process uh, without actually setting it up whatsoever just skip through most of the things that you can uh, just to gain access to the home screen So now that we have accessed our home screen, uh, as you can see for me, it just popped up again with the application crashing. So completely disregard it. And from here on the home screen, you want to navigate to your settings. There we go, settings. And scroll all the way down to system. Select reset options. Choose erase all data factory reset erase all data and then once you tap on erase all data it will begin the process so what will happen at this point is the device will go through factory reset uh, and in that process it will remove your account that you have added along with removing the account that was previously blocking you from uh, being able to complete the setup and the pattern so all of those will be completely removed so at that point the device will be fully unlocked uh, you'll be brought back to the setup screen at which point you can set it up however you like now i'm not going to be going through the reset on camera just because it won't provide any additional information once you do it you can just simply finish up the setup however you like it's completely up to you uh, the device will be fully unlocked at that point so yeah so this will conclude the bypass and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching Thank you.